The tides are turning. The sun is coming around. The wind is blowing briskly. Even Ticino's graces with his presence. Everybody smiles on their faces right now. So I decided to put out a tweet saying this. Reply with your best NBA 2K22 bold hot takes. Reading all replies. And y'all did. Hey, y'all new to the channel. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Subscribe. Thank you. I appreciate it. Especially if you're new and you just did that. That's crazy. NBA 2K22 will be cross-platform. Oh, man. Off the rip. Hey, we're getting unrealistic off the rip. Hey, news just broke literally the day I'm recording this that Sony's been sabotaging everybody's cross-platform attempts. And news broke last year that Epic Games was even offering people their source code if they wanted to cross-platform. The chances this happens is low. I guess that does make it a bold take, huh? Y'all yeah, remember in 2K20 or 2K19, there was a celebrity event where regardless of whether you were on PlayStation or Xbox, if you were live in the park in the while the game was going on, you could watch the game in real time. So 2K's made slight attempts at what could be described as crossplay. I was in that game. I was playing with like Kevin Garnett and Paul George. Hey, Ronnie, man, y'all got me with the 2K specials on here. Y'all can send it through no Adidas to George on me and <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all missed that video. I'll leave it on the end screen once this video is done. It was hilarious. Kevin Garnett is a joy to play with. I hope I can do it again someday. So they made like a slight attempt at cross-platform, but real cross-platform seems unlikely. That makes it a bold take, Ashton. Appreciate it. Hear me out. Naked players for when you hit legend. <laughs> Hey, you're too horny, dog. If you want to see your my players naked that badly, you're too horny. I think this could be something huge, but 2K doesn't take the time to put it in the game and customizable sizes and stuff like that. Then the game will make you actually want to hit legend. Anyone so sick that they want to see their player naked so bad they would grind hundreds of hours into thousands of hours into a video game is a sick individual. And that would tank 2K's E for everyone rating. So they would never do that. 2K22 has the potential to be GOAT 2K if they take suggestions from the community seriously. I agree with you. 2K needs to do a better job at that. But it's also true that like y'all be saying 20 things at the same time. I'm reading through these replies, man, before I started this video. I want more dribbling. Stop over dribbling. Some people want the game to be easier and other people want layup timing to matter. It's like this is 40 people saying 75 different things it could be hard 2k je comprends i get it i understand but y'all still need to do a better job it would literally make the game significantly better because there's some things we're all saying together the servers why are they so bad we're all saying that new rewards we're all saying that there's no one saying they want less rewards that's not happening Hey there guys, taking care of your hair can be a lot of work, but you do it because you want a full head of healthy hair. But the facts are facts. Two out of every three men will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. And that's why today's sponsor is Keeps. And the best way to prevent the hair loss is to do something while you still have the hair. Keeps has revolutionized the way that men are treated for hair loss. And the process is very simple. A licensed doctor will review your information online and send you the right hair loss treatment plan. And everything you need will be delivered right to your front door discreetly every three months. That means you don't have to pull up to no doctor's offices, no long pharmacy lines. You skip the whole process. It's convenience. And Keeps is a more affordable option because it offers generic versions of FDA approved hair loss medication. And when it comes to hair loss, prevention is key. It could take up to four to six months or more to start seeing results. So it's important that you act fast. So if you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, make sure to go to keeps.com slash agent zero zero. That is K-E-E-P-S.com slash agent zero zero for 50% off your first order, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, you've been blessed. Thank you, Keys, for helping sponsor this video. Now let's get back to it. Uh, Troy Nan says, Drake, which actually isn't like crazy bold take. Drake used to be in an NBA 2K game. If you went on the blacktop, he was in the celebrity section with the other celebrities and you could pick him, choose him and play with Drake. You need to add Drake into my team, 2K. You need to add Snoop Dogg into my team. You might make them 80 overalls, but they will be fun to play with though. I'd be disrespected if I was an NBA player and Snoop Dogg got a better rating than me on a basketball game. Hopefully after a year of next gen under their belt, along with the fact that they gave up on this game so early and hired more developers, it leads to a more polished and innovative game, not holding my breath. That could have not been more well said. Also, that's not a bull take.
That's an average take. Dribbling in 2K needs to start looking and feeling a lot more like actual basketball. It should feel snappy and controllable like 16 did. You know what the funny part about all of this right here is? When the game starts looking more realistic is when it feels less snappy and controllable. So you want the game to look real, but then it just loses its fun factor. So then you like kind of defeats the purpose of the video game then. If this game doesn't slap on release, 2K's finna have a wild time refunding millions of people. <laughs> Has 2K ever done that? I don't think they have. 2K would never refund people. That's not in their meta. Cole the Man said, if it's not like 2K16's movement system, the game will be hot ass cheeks. Man, what I would give to kick back with my PS5 controller on a Friday night with the guys on Discord. We boot up the game. It boots up properly. It doesn't take too long. We get in the party in our first attempt. We hop in a game, man. We're kicking back. We're streaking. We're having a good time. Am I shooting greens? Yes, I am. Is the other team losing games? Yes, they are. Smiles are being cracked, the occasional insult at Ronnie 2K, but all in all, we're having a great time. 2K16, guys, 2K16, wow. You fell off, uh, preceded by a decent ratio. <laughs> w ratio, <laughs> my man. <laughs> Y'all forgot your masks! <laughs> I'm gonna have to break this little gathering up! <laughs> that was so weird on the internet. Nah, oh, God, you gotta love the internet, man. It's a beautiful place to be uh, conversing with other individuals. The fact that we could take a situation as serious as the EDP situation and still find a way to make memes out of it, I'm telling you, is a glorious thing. The internet is beautiful. They're gonna add ass implants next year. And how is that gonna help? help me understand what that's gonna do for the game? A plus five attribute boost to your overall aerodynamics once you get that. <laughs> Can you imagine if they had a doctor's office in 2K? Now, I'm not saying they should do this, but just hold up. And you could pull up to the doctor's office, drop 50K VC, and get like a temporary ass implants. And with these ass implants, you actually get a boost to some of your badges like Intimidator and Brick Wall and Hall of Fame, uh, what do you call the boxing out badge? <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, would be true innovation. 2K is not anywhere near there, Matty. I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to tell you that, Matt, but it's not happening anytime soon. If I have a 95 steal, I shouldn't be tipping the ball. I should be catching it. Yo, that is the most, one of the most frustrating parts about 2K is having a decent or good steal rating and the ball just flies through your hands. So now you gotta put on an interceptor Hall of Fame badge just to catch the basketball. So you could be in the perfect passing lane. You could have clicked square and did the perfect thing. You could have done everything flawlessly. The pass is going straight to you. Perfect timing, great steal rating, Hall of Fame interceptor, and then it flies off your brick hand and goes out of bounds. It's still their ball. I get it. There's been games in the past where stealing was so easy that like making pass attempts was stressful because people were just intercepting it like Odell Beckham, just gloving it no matter where you went. I get it. I understand. But also, let's reward good defense. Come on, guys. It's called game testing. Every other game does it. Remember when you said they should add guns and they paralyze a player for 30 seconds? <laughs> when did I say that? Did I say that? If I said it, I was right. All right. If I didn't say it, that's crazy. Can you imagine if you pulled out a gun? Now, these are rubber bullets, and you shoot the rubber bullets at their chest, at their liver to be specific. And, <laughs> and while they catch their breath, you can, that should be like a park card. Oh my God, add park cards back into the game. I'm joking, guys. 2K, if you're watching this, do not take me seriously. Please, I'm begging you. They were jokes made. They were not even good jokes. I apologize that they were ever made. <laughs> Josh says, if NBA 2K21 becomes a bigger bust than this year's 2K, it will become the official downfall of 2K. Now, I don't want to gas it, right? Because I'm not the type of person to gas. But after 2K18 did come 2K19. I don't want to gas it, but that's true. So after 2K21, uh, I didn't say it. You thought it. I didn't say it. You thought it. Well, they're going to start off. Oh. Terrence, how you doing there, Terrence? Another OG. Well, they're gonna start off showing sweatier players, then comes to my career trailers with celebrities in the storyline, show some predetermined motion and call it gameplay, then bring back the same city. <laughs> hey, you had the most pessimistic outlook on the world, and I'm here for it, buddy. Yeah, they're probably gonna do all of that. Even if the game is great, they're still gonna do all of this. More, most definitely, this is all in their playbook of things they've done four years straight. NBA 2K20 will be the make it or break it 2K. If it doesn't do well on the second 2K on next gen, 
It's over. I mean, RDC World's burner is one of the best burners on Twitter. I can't sit there and debate the facts that just got spit out of his keyboard. NBA 2K22 will have new levels. I hope so. And that's one of the things, there's no debate about it. The community's saying it all together. There needs to be new levels, 2K. What's going on? <laughs> I just want to load into the game. <laughs> hey, man, the recent update has up the Zion screen for a lot of people. So 2K, let's get on that. Put some put a developer on that. I mean, I dropped a video a month ago talking about how 2K announced that they got all these new developers. Put one of those new developers on that, please. Hopefully they listen to us and add smaller perks with color and a 24-7 stage with high rollers. I'm trying, I'm just, sorry, I'm looking, I'm trying to think about what to say about this. It's true, but it's not a bold take because everybody agrees with you on this point here. <laughs> Every, not, nobody disagrees with you, bro. Everyone is in agreement. This is the least bold take of the video so far. <laughs> Actually, I think Powers is the least bold take. I don't know, that might be a bold take considering how long we've gone without new rewards, sorry. Iggymo says, couldn't think of anything, still here to get my free likes. And then proceeded to get ratio. That's the second ratio of the video. <laughs> you guys are so fing bored on Twitter. <laughs> And let me give you my bull take. I'm afraid that 2K is gonna continue going down the road of more realism. In the pursuit, not only are they not gonna achieve realism, but they're gonna strip the game of any fun it could have had. I recorded a video that's dropping soon if it didn't drop already, where I played all of the NBA Street video games. Every series, NBA Ballers, NBA Street, NBA Jam, you name it. And time and time again, I'd play the first version of something, NBA Street Volume 1, NBA Baller. And it would be a good time, like the core gameplay is there, but it'd be that second game that they drop, NBA Street Volume 2, NBA Ballers Phenom, I believe it was called, the second one. No, actually, it might've been Chosen One, or Phenom, whatever the second one was. And it was, it took the core stuff from the first game and made it fun and that's like that's where you make your memories is in the fun experiences and memories you have playing the video game not saying 2k needs to be a street game not even close but we got all these notes about how there was going to be realism and the physics there's the physics and the feet in the floor the physics updates and it's like none of that translated to being a better game you know what I'm saying? So let's hope that the improvements made on this next generation of games does do that. But I have a inkling feeling, guys, that it's not gonna do that. But about three months away from when we would usually expect NBA 2K to release, people are wagering again on Twitch, hmm? Most content creators have found a home playing current gen. I'm about to drop a video soon. It seems like things are on the up and up, and that makes me happy, man. Smile on my face to end the video. Yeah, if y'all new, man, make sure to drop a like, end screen, boom, click that. But, you know what I'm saying, subscribe to the channel or you may never see a video from me ever again. <laughs> You'll be alright even if you don't. But it would appreciate the subscription though, my guy. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. You can leave now.